Melissa. Thank you. We'll take this next story as a cautionary tale about why it is rarely good to raise a wild animal in your home. KTVA's Lauren Maxwell introduces us, introduces us to a squirrel which may just think it's a human. There we were coming out of the woods. Dean Cowflesh can hardly believe it. Just as I was getting to the truck, I saw that little squirrel coming across the parking lot. The squirrel was making a beeline for a group of people at Far North Bicentennial Park. The next thing he knew... Ah, get off. He just went under my coat here, this coat, and got up into right about here and just stayed there and fell asleep. I drove home. I walked around the house. I was doing things, and he was still there. The squirrel is still there, only this time it's riding on someone's shoulders. That's where he likes to be. Cowflesh called his buddy Dutch Overly, who has a background in animal rehab. Overly could tell right away the squirrel, they named Red, had imprinted on people, raised by humans who probably had good intentions. Someone was raised him up, thinking, okay, and then I'm going to release him back into the wild. But Red doesn't know how to be wild, and it's certainly not a place he wants to stay. I mean, he's taken off and run into the woods and played for a while, and two hours later, he's back. Overly has found a more suitable home for Red, but in the meantime, they've become good friends. They like to roughhouse and wrestle, or play a game called Flying Squirrel, where Overly tosses him, and Red comes running back for more. Overly says the squirrel never tires of playing and lets him know by jumping on his back and nibbling on his ear. He nips it, and if I don't pay attention, he, he will continue to do that or go to the other ear and nip. Uh, uh, he, wants, he wants to play. Overly says he's tried not to get too attached to his buddy, but for Red, it's too late. He'll soon be heading to that new home. To be an ambassador for... Squirrels, I guess. <laughs> and it will be hard to say goodbye. Lauren Maxwell, KTVA 11 News. Now the plan is for Red to go to a wildlife center where he can become an educational animal and have plenty of interaction with people.